Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own and this is my MK4 Volkswagen New Beetle. This one is a 2005 in platinum gray. As you can see, the third brake light is out, but the other brake lights are operational. So I think the third brake light has just gone bad. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the third brake light on an MK4 Volkswagen New Beetle hatchback. This procedure is the same on all MK4 Volkswagen New Beetles, 1998 through 2005. Volkswagen did a little refresh of the Beetle in 2006, so I'm not exactly sure if the 2006 through 2010 is the same procedure. And real quick before I get started, make sure you check out the video where I got my H&R Springs put on my Beetle and this stainless steel footrest. I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so here's the new third brake light. I picked this up at AutoZone locally. Cost me 80 bucks. It was actually the last one they had. So I'm really happy I did not have to order this and wait. So let me show you how easy it is to install this. Step one is to pop the hatch on your beetle. And then up under these grab handles in here, if we look up under, I'm gonna put a flashlight in here. There's a Phillips head screw in here, one on each side. Let's take a look, see if we can see them. So there's the Phillips head screw that you can see there. And then there's one on the other side. So get these out. Okay, so we got the screws out. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just pry that plastic down. This whole trim piece just pries down. It's pretty simple, just goes ahead and pries down. You can see there's these little clips that fit up into the body. So you're just gonna gently go ahead and pull down all the way around until you get this whole thing down. Now we got the trim panel out of the way and it is worth noting that along the back side here, I did have to kind of pull it down just a little bit, but you wanna be very gentle with it because this plastic could be brittle and you don't want it to break, uh, but this came out all perfect, no harm. So you can see the location of the third brake light here. Up under here, now that we have the whole plastic cover gone, there are three Phillips head screws, one, two, three. That's what's holding the third brake light. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew these and we get the third brake light out. So now that uh, the third brake light is unscrewed from below, now what you need to do is you need to pull the brake light out from this top side easier said than done this one's in really really tight you want to pull up on this but you don't want to damage the paint or dent the body or anything like this so if you're going to put anything under here to pry with it's going to probably need to be something plastic so let me get this out of here and then we can move forward so as we can see i got it out and it wasn't really easy i ended up tapping it from underneath from behind to get it to get up under here to raise it up enough so I can get my fingers under there and pull it up but once I did it did come out it's just been in there a long time now as you can see there's only one connector connecting and holding this so let's just go ahead and unplug it plug in the new one test it out and put this back together you're also going to want to fish out those old parts that break off the back of here you don't want to leave them down in there so get those parts out and now we can put on the new light. The way this clip works is pretty straightforward. It just squeezes in on the inside there and then you pull it out. Okay, so as you can see, the third brake light now works. All I need to do is just button everything back up. So before you put this brake light back in, make sure you take those screws out. Those are the same screws that screw in from the underside. They're gonna come screwed into here. Make sure you don't put this thing in there with those screws in there, that's not gonna work. So get those out first. So now that the third brake light's back in, let's talk about the finer points of actually making that happen because, well, I was under the assumption that the new one would just drop right in. Firstly, it didn't. It's, it's a very tight fit in there. And the tabs on this one are broken, but right along the back side here, you've got some tabs that you need to deal with that kind of need to hook under here. So. It's just a really tight fit. You gotta work this in and take your time and try to get it as flush as possible. And then you can get the screws in from the bottom. As you can see, the screws aren't very long. So if you don't get things flush enough, you're not gonna be able to get these screws. They're not gonna reach up and actually screw into the bottom of, uh, to the, bottom of the light there. So the light's gotta be far enough down so that little screw could actually reach up. Remember, you got this plastic thing hanging down and the screws screw into the bottom of that. So that's kind of what you're dealing with. It's a, it's, I would say it's a little fiddly, but actually to me, it's a lot fiddly, but it's better than taking it to the dealer if you think you can do the job. So now all I need to do is put the trim piece back on and we're done. Okay, there you go. That's how you replace the third brake light in an MK4 Volkswagen new Beetle. 
1998 through 2005. If you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.